Hi, Alan Stratton from As With Turns and... And Matt Dighton from Wood Turners Worldwide. And we're here finally with the results from this year's Christmas Ornament Challenge. Great stuff here. It's incredibly hard to pick. Oh, over 200 people submitted from 12 countries. 12 countries. Which was impressive. Some incredible turnings, a lot of creativity, uh, just fantastic. And work. Great work. And... Uh, there's many comments in the voting about how hard it was to choose. Yes, we agree. So, <laughs> yeah. but but we've attempted to do some, uh, some of our picks, some of your picks that we'll illustrate now. By no means does it degrade anybody else, but uh, this is what we picked. Yeah, we actually, just to kind of give you a behind the scenes on the prizes and how that worked, we chose the top three from the people's choice so that was what everyone uh, went out and voted for. And so the top three prizes are for those. And mm -hmm. then we talked and we picked number four that we both kind of agreed on. Yeah. There were so many that I liked. Oh, and they, yeah. were, they were completely different. That was the amazing part is you liked ones that were completely different than the ones that I liked. Yeah, our, our we overlapped overlap. a little bit. Yeah. 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 Not much. So that's what I love about wood turning is that it uh, it speaks to people differently. Well, but they're not all just wood turned here. No, no. There was we had stained glass. Stained glass. I saw some stained glass. I saw some scroll saw work. Yes. Um, there was a sled that was put together by I think an eleven year old girl. Yeah. That one was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, no, just a lot of great work all, all around. So okay, so uh, starting from the honorable mention in the popular vote, okay, we have the. Uh, number 90, the Lantern or Ornament by Hyun Kai Wong. Uh, and then number 82 for Kelsey by Jim Beckwith. And a Christmas tree, number one by Ken Vosco. And 69, Hollow Form with Icicle by Tanya Betcher. And uh, number 14, Just for Kicks, a soccer ball ornament by Dan Schmidt. And then uh, 186 Snowflake Ornament by Robert Rorig. Uh, number 70 Jolly Snowman by Tanya Betcher. And then and we, number two. Number two. <laughs> 59 Celtic Ring Ornament, Franklin Young. And the <laughs> most popular one, Christmas Catastrophe by Jose Esteban Cruz. Now, we've chosen to award prizes from these to uh, our first top prize from craft supplies is to uh, Jose Esteban Cruz. And the second prize also from craft supplies uh, for a Celtic ring ornament by Frank Young. And uh, third prize from the popular in, uh, vote, we picked the lantern ornament by Huan Kai Wong. So congratulations on winning prizes for yes. those ones. You guys did fantastic. Now and remember everybody that submitted Gets got coupons and discounts from uh, Alumalite, Wood Turners Wonders, Woodworkers Emporium, and Frog Blank. So everybody got a prize. Yeah, every, yeah, that's true. That's true. And aren't we all winners for being creative? Isn't yeah, yeah, that works. For the me. real gift was friendship here. Yeah, wasn't that? And 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 well, if you want to get some great ideas, go back through the. List. Oh yeah, go look through because there's some great uh, ideas of things to make. Okay, so uh, then it. We had a, a fair number of novices enter ornaments into the challenge. I picked three to highlight. Uh, the uh, number 30, a medallion style ornament by Larry Mitchell. Number 86, a snowman by Michael Dimmick. And number 199, Santa's sleigh by Janelle C. Don't know her last name, but I know she's 14 years old. Oh, so that's pretty that's cool. That's the school saw. Oh, that's, that, that's the, yeah. uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, and then the novice ones that I picked for honorable mention, uh, number 18, um, Jackie Brody, number 125, uh, Joffrey Doy, and 130, Ron Pullman. So those are the three novice ones that I want to give a shout out to. You guys did fantastic. So that's an honorable mention on those. And then for our fourth place, we actually were able to uh, come up with one together from the different lists that we had. And uh, so Starbond is sponsoring that one. Starbond makes some incredible CA glues and they actually do a black CA glue as well, which is they're donating for this price. So it's a black CA glue and accelerator and that goes to number 141. It's a Dohecadedron play by Michael Lober. Okay. Now we want to also illustrate some others that 
deserve good, well, honorable mentions as a formal yeah. way of putting it, but just take a second look at these. Number 75, Penguins Tobogganing, I thought was amazing. Uh, 98, Ebenezer Scrooge by Adam Reed. Uh, 103, Santa Claus and His Reindeer, Mauro Migone. From Italy. Oh, from Italy. Uh, 107, My Little Christmas, uh, Azadi as Uzimi. I think he's from Iran. I think Maybe. I saw that one. I don't have it listed. 109, Nativity Scene, Mark Choitz. I really like that one. Melting Snowman, I thought was super clever. That was a snowman that was mm -hmm. was melting at the end. And uh, Glenn uh, McClough. Uh, I like the 187 Nativity, Greg Patterson, and uh, Christmas Ornament 197, uh, Terry Hooper. And uh, a few more that I picked. Uh, the Snowflake uh, Christmas Ornament number 8 by Alvin uh, Linksweiler. 25, The Jingle Bell by Dennis Casalvin. I want to make that one. Okay, number 73, well, we overlapped here, but it's actually a series, 72, 73, 74, 75. Snowman, the full toboggan the toboggan series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. reindeer, whatever. Uh, number 95, Angelica by Jim. And 192, Globe Ornament by Jim Greco. And one of the great things of those 12 countries, I'll just listen real quick. So the U.S., United Kingdom, Netherlands, Sweden, Switzerland, Puerto Rico, Norway, New Zealand, Italy, Iran, Canada, and Australia. Great. Well, we'll try great for more next year. Great, great participation. participation. International. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but an another prize that we offered this year is to the clubs that helped promote it to their members and got more people to participate. And the top three clubs each get a remote demonstration by me. Uh, that we will schedule during uh, during 2022. So uh, the top club with different individuals submitting hmm. was Cape Cod Woodturners. Thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll schedule that. Arizona Woodturners for second year in a row. So that's uh, they'll get their demonstration also. And uh, Puerto Rico, you win too. So muchas wow, gracias. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. And so next year, we'll do the same thing there for the clubs. If you can promote it, get your people to ad adopt it for your own challenge, too. It can do double duty, and it'll be great. This, was, this has been a great challenge. The best a ever. Fun. A lot of fun. Plan now for next year. We'll do a lot the same. Try and get more vendors to uh, add more zest to it. Yeah. And, uh, and the more that we see, the variety that we see, the greater this, thing, this challenge is. So... Mark your calendars, plan for the November for a submission period, and so that you can send in your picture and your uh, description like you did last year. <laughs> oh, and I, I just, I really want to emphasize those people that help sponsor. Those are the people that, I mean, help us, encourage us, and, and, and help everyone in the community. So, so that was from, uh, we had Craft Supplies, love those guys. Thank you, Craft Supplies, Star Bond, Illumilite, Woodturners Wonders. Woodworkers Emporium and Frog Blanks. So, great material, great stuff to use. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. Merry Christmas.